ओम सहना सह नौ गुणक्तु सह वीर कर्वाहे तेजस्वीनावधितमस्तु मिदिषा वह ओ शांति 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 Dear students, today we are going to discuss about the fracture shaft femur. Now, as you see, all this femur, femur is the longest and the strongest bone in the body. It is the heaviest bone. A person's height is four times the length of the femur. It has got three parts: the proximal end, the distal end, and the shaft. The shaft extends from the level of lesser trochanter to the flare of the condyles the shaft is slightly bent both anteriorly and is narrowest in the mid shaft the cross section is circular linea aspera is the mid thick ridge of the bone situated mid posteriorly then the various muscle forces acting at different sides let us see look at this particular diagram you will understand in proximal third fractures the iliopsoas flexes the abductors abduct and the external rotators cause the abduction and external rotation of the proximal fragment while the adductors they adduct the distal fragment in the middle third there is a shortening and adduction whereas in the distal third this is flexed due to the action of gastrocnemius muscle the blood supply to the shaft of the femur is rich and adequate and thus the fracture in this area usually unites well the above muscular forces should be taken into consideration while planning the treatment of uh, for the fracture shaft of the femur so let us start the discussion on fracture shaft femur fracture shaft femur is a serious injury and is usually due to the severe violence it may be associated with a severe blood loss up to 1500 ml multiple fractures and multi system injuries but heavy musculature however provides unlimited blood supply and thus the fracture heals well coming to the mechanism of injury usually it is due to the major violence and is common in the young adults because the strong metaphyseal areas transmit the forces to the shaft causing it to fracture in old days the metaphyseal areas are brittle and hence the shaft fracture is rarely seen but the fracture of the metaphyseal region is common in old days the mechanism includes the road traffic accident the commonest cause then industrial accidents then fall from height and the gunshot injuries now in case of children the mechanism of injury includes mainly the fall and birth injuries male to female ratio is 3 is to 1 and every age of occurrence is 25 to 35 years of the age classification femoral fractures could be in the proximal mid shaft or the distal fragment and each of the above fracture could be transverse oblique spiral segmental or comminuted now based on the degree of comminution the winquist and hansen have described the four types the type 1 none or insignificant combination type 2 less than 50% combination type 3 50 to 100% combination of the cortex and type 4 no contact between the two major fragments now ao or as if they have adopted the classification a similar classification type a simple fractures simple fractures may be 
transverse, oblique, spiral, or minimal combination. Then type B, a wedge fracture and a greater than one fracture line. Type C, the extensive combination. Now coming to the clinical features, apart from all the features of fracture, there could be shortening of the lower limb, shortening and deformity. Complete external rotation deformity, such that the lateral border of the foot touches the bed. Now since the fracture femur is usually due to the major violence, the patient may also present with the features of shock, like unconsciousness, paler, cold nose, tachycardia, cold and clammy skin, hypotension and DC. So we must not forget to look for these also. The X-ray wise, routine anterior posterior and lateral view of the femur suffice, but care must be taken. They say the care should be taken to include the neighboring joints, that is hip and knee, to rule out the possibilities of injuries to the joints. Now you can see in this particular X-ray, the third X-ray is showing that along with the fracture shot femur, there is a dislocation of the hip joint. Otherwise, you know, if you don't include these joints, you may miss up the hip dislocation or fracture neck femur proximally or injuries of the knee distally. Now in this particular diagram, you can see the first X-ray showing an associated fracture neck femur. Coming to the general principles of management, almost 100% union occurs, whether fracture is treated by closed or open reduction method. By internal fixation, the hospital stay is reduced. Simpler, the fracture more likely to be treated with open reduction and internal fixation. More comminuted fracture less likely to be internal fixation attempted. For severely comminuted fractures and extensive soft tissue damage, traction is surfaced. Close reduction and interlocking nailing is the other popular alternative nowadays. Rather, now the surgeons have been trained to treat most of the fracture shot femur using interlocking nails. The management in children, till recent past, there was an inclination to treat the pediatric fractures by conservative means only, by traction or plaster uh, spica. The children, it is mainly conservative, the children more than 15 years of the age, uh, children less than 15 years of the age, it is conservative. Zero to two year plaster spica in a human position as shown in the second diagram in the upper row, you can see. For by the modified Bryant or gallows traction. Now this traction is applied in a child less than two years of age and weight less than 10 kgs. Management in the case of two to 10 years old child the most femoral fractures are seen in this age group here. The split cell traction is more useful. 10 to 15 years, 90-90 femoral traction or the hip spike or both can be done. More than 50 years treatment is as an adult. But this was what we learned during our time. Now the things have changed a lot. Of late, the femur fractures in children have been increasingly being treated by the operative methods. And for that, the titanium elastic nail system, TENS, has come up. A special intramedullar nail is being used for this purpose in the children, what we call as titanium elastic nails, TENS. In case of adults, fractures are femur, the three modalities, again, the conservative treatment are described by traction. It could be a skin traction. It is useful only during the transportation for the first and major. Skeletal traction, it is useful only in early stages and hence its role is limited. However, a patient treated with the traction shows 100% union, but it causes shortening and hence it is not acceptable nowadays. With the advent of surgery, almost all cases are being treated surgically. surgically. The average time for the traction required is 12 weeks, that is almost 3 months. And it gives rise to the recumbency complications of bed sores, pneumonia, renal calculosities. And this made third cause is unacceptable wearers of more than 8 degree and hence it is not recommended nowadays. 
The surgery in the adult fracture femur will sharp the best method of managing a fracture sharp femur in adult is by open reduction and internal fixation now. The choice of implant could be from a standard intramodulary nail that is K nail or interlocking nail or plating. The intramodulary nails can be used for the fractures 2.5 cm below the lesser trochanter to that of 8 to 10 cm above the knee joint. I am talking about the K nails. Nowadays K nail is outdated and we are using the interlocking nails. It can be used in a simple or a comminuted fracture. It can be done immediately or delayed. Infection and non-union rate is rare, 0.8%. Intermedullary nail can be inserted either through the open or a closed technique. The standard K nails, the ideal indication for the nail is the fracture shaft of the femur in adults at the level of isthmus. Now isthmus is a portion of femoral shaft. It is the junction between the upper and middle one third and is the narrowest portion of the shaft. Interlocking nails, grass caps nails, they extend the indication of the standard IM nail and can be used in the following situation where the intramedullary nail is less successful. For example, the comminuted fractures or the segmental fractures, proximal and distal fractures and non unities. The flexible medullary nails like Ender's nail. Now this particular diagram, second diagram, you can see the Ender nails, which is usually passed from below upwards through the distal femur. Interlocking intramedullary nail has become the gold standard treatment nowadays. However, depending upon the various circumstances, even the DC plates, the MIPPO or the LIS technique or the X-fix are also used. Complications can be considered under two groups, the immediate complications and delayed complications. Immediate complications, these are life-threatening and common ones are shock, fat embolism, neurovascular injuries to the femoral artery, sciatic nerve, etc. The delayed complications, these are more common and includes refracture, complication of fixation device, nerve injuries, malunion, non-union, joint stiffness. Now the refracture, this is the most embarrassing complication and is commonly seen in the simpler fractures due to the poor welding of the fracture side by the callus and after the plate removal due to the holes left over by the removal of screws which takes time to fill up. Look at this picture. The holes are not held up right till now leaving a potential weak spot for refracture. The incidence of this complication is around 9 to 15 percent. Then complications of the fixation device, the problem usually encountered with the intramedullary nails which are breaking, loosening, proximal or distal migration. You can see in the third, uh, second picture the nail is bent. The implants are broken. Now, the, it also includes jamming, bending, infection, etc. Now, this may be due to the faulty implant technique or the choice of the implant is faulty. Nerve injuries, injury to the common perineal nerve is more often seen in these fractures. However, it is not a very common occurrence. Malunion, this is one of the most common complications as shown in this particular X-ray. Seen in the fractures at femur, and is due to the strong and variable muscle forces which we had already described in the start. The malignant is more often seen following the conservative treatment and traction than in the operative treatment. Non-union, it is not that common as the fracture shaft femur is known to unite well. Joint stiffness, in the fracture shaft femur, knee joint may become stiff due to the quadriceps atrophy following the prolonged immobilization and due to the intra-articular or extra-articular adhesions. Now, before we end, I want to talk to you about one more important topic, happy key to lose weight. Dear students, one of the commonest problems we are facing in our daily routine clinical practice of orthopedics is obesity. 
eat less and exercise more formula for treating obesity has been proved to be the failed formula of late i have been working on the latest most scientific evidence based concept of weight loss happy keep you may find few videos on this topic as well on my youtube channel the obesity among the medical students is at its peak nowadays due to obesity not only they are bullied but most of them also lose their self confidence resulting in deteriorating performance in academics for all of them this online video course of course it's a paid course will be most valuable if interested you may visit my facebook page the happy keep or my website www.docorsudhir.com for details of this course i recommend you all to watch my youtube video above mentioned youtube video completely you can enroll for this particular course after paying the necessary fees you may also forward this video to all others the youtube link is given below just have a look my mission is to help more than 10 lakh persons to lose weight and get lifetime freedom from obesity without dieting and exercises using this happy key technique let us all come together to create a healthy fit india please like my channel subscribe it now and do recommend it to all your colleagues from all other medical colleges please help me to help medical students all over the country your recommendation matters a lot for me thank you thank you for your subscription if not visited yet please do visit my youtube channel now like it share it and subscribe it thank you